What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. What up, squad? So I got a review for you today and some other things I'm going to talk about afterwards on the TFV8 Baby Cloud Beast sub ohm tank by Smock. And I'm also going to compare it to the TFV8 regular size version. All right? Let's take a look at it. So this was sent to me from Smock for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this sub ohm tank. Well, you guys know the TFV8. Okay, this thing just towers over it. Great tank. I really like the RBA section on this one. I use specifically this one just with the RBA section. I just love the RBA section on it. They came out with the TFV8 baby cloud version. This thing is small. What we're going to do in this review is we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you this, show you what it comes with. Compare it to the size of this one. Just really quickly compare the size of it. Then want to come back up, vape on it, talk on it, pros and cons, final thoughts. If I'm going to store my book bag, I'll go out and buy one and uh, let you know how much they are, where you can find one, wrap it up like usual. And then I'll discuss the large uh, 9K giveaway at the end. Let's dive down and take a look at this now. See you guys in a minute. We're at the close-up of the TFV8 Baby Beast by Smock. This is the box that comes in Q2, 40 to 80, and a T8, 50 to 110. Comes in black or stainless steel, 22 millimeters in diameter, holds 3 mLs, has a 510s, made of stainless steel, 47 grams in weight. Open it up, comes in that box as well. Eat that later. Additional glass piece. It's going to be installed with the T4. The 0.15 T8 is uh, comes in inside of it. A lot of airflow on this. Four coils. 0.15 crazy man. Good threads. A user manual. Okay. Bag of goodies, O-rings, quality control pass sticker or card, another silica gel for dinner. You're gonna get two uh, two little vape bands. Smock, keep on vaping. We have the uh, silver and the black. I'm using the black version. Keeping this one for you guys. Okay. Top fill, chuff top. 22 millimeters in diameter. Same filling system as the uh, TFV8 and TFV4. Okay. Nice airflow. Designed by Smock. Protruding 510. Eh, I wouldn't really use it on a hybrid though. Open it up. Okay. It says baby Q2, 0 0.4, 40 to 80, 55 to 65 is the best. This is really, really wide. A lot of airflow on these, man. Nice threads. Smock always does a phenomenal job. You can take the glass off if you want. Alrighty. Good threading. Take the uh, Delrin out. Okay. Two O rings. Next to the TFV8 regular size. I mean, this thing's super, super small. I mean, really small. It's really small. You want to go back up. I'm gonna vape on both of these, okay, and compare them. It's like a, his little baby, the big brother and the little baby. And then we'll talk about the giveaway, all right? So we're back from the close up on the TFV8 Baby Beast. I'm just gonna call it that. And the TFV8 normal size. Well, as you can see, there's a big difference in size 22 millimeters in diameter, 25 millimeters in diameter, all right? 
this has an RBA section, and this one doesn't. Chuff tops are definitely a uh, difference as well. This one, man, I love this one. I definitely enjoy it. Threads are buttery smooth. No leakage, no dry hits, no spit back. I mean, zero, okay? Uh, Smocks, Smock makes great products. Completely great products. I have the 0.15 in here. You can do up to 110 watts. I've done the 110 watts. Ah, uh, 110 watts, you can't really vape it for a long period of time. 100 watts is good. 100 watts, I don't have any issues on it whatsoever. Um, 110 is right on the, the edge of uh, being a little bit too too much wattage for this type of uh, sub-ohm tank. It has great flavor, and it has great vape production. On the Asmodus Mini Conversion 1.5 150-watt box mod, 100 watts. Same filling system as the TFE8. 3 mLs versus like 5 or 6 mLs of e-liquid. Threads are buttery smooth. O-rings are perfect. I mean, it's just as good as this one as the regular TFE8, except you don't have an RBA section and it's a lot smaller. Okay, but it still packs a punch for the size of it. 100 watts on this thing on the .15 coil head is, um, it's just awesome. It's very stealthy. It really depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for... One with an IBA section, uh, one with more wattage, uh, one with more e-liquid, you like the bigger sized ones, then the TFE8 is definitely for you. If you're looking for more of a stealthy, just plug and play, drop juice in it, and just go vape, then this is definitely the one to get, man. Um, I, I actually like this one a little bit more than this one with the coil heads. Um, because it's smaller, it's more compact, it's a little bit more restrictive. This one's really airy. This one's more of a regular style airflow, middle of the road airflow. I really like this one, man. I, I definitely enjoy this one. Tremendous flavor. Same O-rings, same threads, same design, same type of coil heads, except this one has an IBA and more e-liquid and bigger than this one. Comes with a bunch of goodies, two different coil heads, additional glass, O-rings, little ones you could put on here in case it falls over, it doesn't break. That's all great and dandy, man. I definitely recommend the TFV8 Baby Cloud sub ohm tank. If Omega stole my book bag and this was in it, I most definitely would go buy it. Most definitely. You can find the TFV8 Baby at smocktech.com. Link on screen and description. That's where it's sent from. That's where you can find it. It's $44.99 for this sub ohm tank. Yeah. It's a little bit more pricier than other sub ohm tanks, but these guys are doing it right. You know, Asmodus picked them up and got rid of Sigeli and, and, and all that, you know, because they do the right. They do it right, man. I stand by everything they make, man. And this is just, this is just a great little addition. If this was too much for you, this is the one to go with, man. I got the IBA section in this one. Mmm. These are both good. It really depends on what you're looking for. Smaller, more compact, stealthy. Um, I think this has a little bit better flavor than this one with the coil heads because this is smaller and it, it does about half the wattage as this could. Same cotton in both, same type of wire in both, same type of coil heads in both. It's just this one's a little bit smaller than this one. On the coil heads, I really enjoy this one. Now to the giveaway. I don't know if you can see to the right of me, to your left, I have a bunch of stuff to give away. All right, it's going to be my 9K subscriber giveaway. This could be my last giveaway. I hope it's not, but August 8th is tomorrow. It might be today. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff to give away. I'm giving away like four different big packages, okay? I'm going to give away uh, a Smock TFV8 baby, Goose Egg, uh, sub bomb tank i'm gonna have a review on this like tomorrow courtesy of them i just have so many of them so apex Inikin uh sub bomb tank night kit orange the orange color obs ace tank ipv 400 fire 4 tc 18 650 and i got another one with the kit the travel kit another night kit 
black version. Another night kit. <laughs> uh, stainless steel color. Crown 2 sub ohm tank. Another Crown 2 sub ohm tank. I think I was just like holding off on these, man. I save them for big giveaways to give to you guys. Another Ace tank, the upgraded version. Smock Quantum 80 watt. The Axum sub ohm tank by Inikin. I gotta review this, I haven't had time to review it. Quantum 80 watt. Another night kit. Another Quantum 80 watt. Four packages, okay? So this is my 9K subscriber giveaway. I needed to put it up uh, because August 8th is around the corner. So there's gonna be four large winners. It's a lot easier for me to do it this way instead of doing 30 different giveaways, okay? So to enter this giveaway, be subscribed, share the video if you want, whatever. Uh, Follow me on Instagram. It's in the description. If you do not have an Instagram account, just make one really quickly. That will give you a double entry. All right. Uh, comment down below. Hashtag August8th.org. Yes. All right. Hashtag that in the comments and you'll be entered into this giveaway. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, maybe a week or two. I don't know how it's going to work. But... That's going to be, hopefully it's not my last giveaway, guys. That's why I made it so big, because it might be my last giveaway. But, um, yeah, man, I appreciate all you guys' support. Um, I'm getting really, I'm getting a lot of subscribers. I'm getting a really big channel. Uh, I'm, I'm so surprised I'm almost at 9K right now. I was at, like, 3K, like, a couple months ago. It's crazy. Um, so I definitely appreciate all of you for supporting me and watching my videos and commenting. I, I, I watch all of those comments. I pay attention. I reply as much as I can. But me giving you content daily, me working, family, trying to do the giveaways, trying to do other business-related things in the vape industry, I can't really talk about it yet um, because it's not fully in the process yet. But I do have an e-juice line that should be coming out very soon. Okay, so I have a lot of things in the background that I've been working on for a long time. And uh, so I do watch all you guys' comments. I try to reply as much as I can. But, um, you know, if I don't reply to some of the comments, you know, hopefully you guys understand what you guys do. And um, I just want to say thank you. I have a lot of products to review for you guys. Um, I don't even know where to start. Like, I've been getting a lot of products in. I have a lot. My, my shelf over here, I have to review all that. You know, and then I have more stuff I got to review. And, um... It's just crazy. So when you guys like the video, it's when I tell you to like the video or you guys like the video, whatever, it's not for anybody but me. When I see you guys like the video, I know that you're liking the content. And I feel like, you know, 400, 500 views and like 60 likes. I know I have hardcore subs uh, subscribers and those are the guys that are leaving likes. But, you know, for the other ones, you know, the other like 340 people or 500 people, you know, that watch me daily, um, you know, if you don't leave a like, I, I think that you're not liking the content. Um, you might comment and not like, like I really look at the likes for me, not for anything else, not to, it doesn't boost my channel or anything like that. That's for me to see, was this a good review? Was this not a good review? Should I continue to do what I'm doing? Should I switch it up? That's why I'm always trying to switch it up because I feel like I'm not getting those likes on up. And if I don't see those likes up, I feel like, you guys aren't enjoying it. If you guys enjoy the content, you're going to leave a like, right? Most of the time, I do when I watch videos on YouTube. I like it. You know what I mean? That's just what I do, you know? But thanks for watching, guys. You know what to do. I give you content daily. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Don't waste your effing bandwidth not being subscribed to this channel. Remember, squad, stay juiced up. Smoking is gone. Vaping is on. Vape on. TFEA baby. This thing is a beast. It's not a baby.